Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and let's talk about Season 1 of CBS's 9JKL. First we'll tell you our recap of the show, followed up by our review, and then we'll finish off with telling you if it's worth the watch. Created by Dana Klein and Mark Feuerstein, 9JKL follows the story of a divorced man who moves into his old apartment sandwiched between his overbearing parents and brother's family. So, recap time. The main story of Season 1 revolves around the return of Josh Roberts to apartment 9K, greeted by his brother and his overbearing parents. The season sees Josh deal with re-entering the dating world, all while trying to set boundaries for his intrusive but well-meaning family. Hmm, a family sitcom about an overbearing mother who babies her prized son but neglects the other and they all live in close proximity? This sounds very familiar. Sure, they change the family from Italian to Jewish, and the main character is single rather than having a family of his own, but there is definitely no denying that this show screams a modernized version of Everybody Loves Raymond, even if it's supposed to be a loose retelling of its creator's living situation during his work on Royal Pains. Regardless, the talented cast had me intrigued, and thus started a slow 16 weeks. When I say slow, I don't mean bad in any means, I just mean that it took a long time for the show to pick up any steam. The first few episodes of the season feel mind-numbingly dull, as the premise is in full force with Josh continuously clashing with his mother Judy. At this point, the rest of the characters are one-dimensional room fillers to let the overbearing mother-son relationship take center stage, and this troubled me. The show was already losing steam by episode 3 as it focused way too much on this overbearing trope. However, it was soon after this that the show decided to take a different route, focusing less on the mother-son dynamic and more on the family as a whole. The extreme behavior of Judy is replaced with subplots involving Josh's brother Andrew and his wife Eve, as well as including the severely underused bellhop Nick. What comes from this is a dynamic more reminiscent of the successful family dramedy of Everybody Loves Raymond, rather than a cheap parody that this show initially looked to be. The best characters of the season were definitely Andrew, Eve, and Nick, as all three of these characters continually had joke after joke and they all seemed to hit, and that's what really made the back half of the season so much better. And the best episodes to me were definitely episodes 9 through 11, as they deal with character-centric stories surrounding the three characters I just mentioned. It's allowing the story to become more well-rounded and avoid focusing primarily on Josh, looking at these funny characters and realizing that this show needed to be an ensemble. And the last of these three episodes has guest star Christina Pickles, who played Judy Geller opposite Elliot Gould in Friends. So, with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. This season of 9JKL is a standard family sitcom that comes into its own as it learns to rely less on its premise and more on its strongest aspect, the cast. While it isn't a gut-busting first season, the dynamic explored and developed through each episode creates a fun, relatable ensemble that brings an old concept into a modern setting. From the family themes and the realistic situations, this show does have a lot of relatability, so I'm gonna say it's worth the watch. And that's our recap and review of Season 1 of 9JKL. If you've seen it, what did you think? And was it worth the watch? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips, and thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest If You Liked video where we recommend movies similar to the film When We First Met. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, fanatics, keep it real.